Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm setting up today an invention I have of a one person screen tent with copper fabric over it for use in the uh, upcoming CMEs of our solar maximum uh, coming up on February the 10th 2022 is supposed to be a long duration low voltage C uh, type flare three uh, hours long it's supposed to hit earth on uh, the 10th of February and the day before it's supposed to hit Venus and it may sideswipe Mars as well so this is a video for that occasion and for the most likely upcoming occasions of CMEs possibly X flares that may be hitting Earth in the next two or three years. So here I am with my setup. I'll show you. Down here I have the items I will need. I have a, um, a blanket for the inside. This is an old army blanket. I have a solitude tent by Alpine Design. I'm going to set that up. And I have an Amrad Deal, A M R A D I E L D, um, RF signal blocking copper sheet. First, I'm going to set up the screen tent. setting it up in the utility shed because of the wind outside. But I expect uh, that during the CMEs that are upcoming, I'll be setting it up in the living room inside my house, or I could even put it on a bed. This is the cover. I'm not going to need that indoors. I'm not going to need the stakes. You know, this is the day of surveillance camera snooping here in the bourbon. I always get the feeling out here at my house that all of my neighbors are watching my every move and no doubt they get the same idea about me. It's the weirdest feeling. I think in the times to come, well, all right, that only took a minute or two. And I have here a screen tent. Of course, it has a cover in case of rain or wind. But uh, this will do for the demonstration. It would be great for indoors. It's a solitude tent, which means it's for one person only. And inside of it, I just put a, um, an army blanket for comfort. Well, here I have a new discovery that I made. Um, while researching RF blocking and Wi-Fi blocking materials. It's much better than aluminum foil, which was an old standby and quite a joke for many years for psychics and sensitives and intuitives. Um, this is copper fabric, and it's made in this case, of course there are plenty of other people that make it, but this one is made by Amrad D-I-E-L-D, A-M-R-A-D-I-E-L-D, -E and I found it on Amazon. It says that it shields RF signals such as cell, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, cell towers, smart meters, radar, military broadcast, and all that. So I thought that it might help. This is this will be the trial on the 10th. I thought that it might help with EMF sensitivity for intuitives and light workers and way showers and healers and pathfinders. So I'm setting this up right now and then 
if the CME does strike as anticipated on the 10th of February, I'll trundle this into the house and use it, and then I'll let you know what happened. I have used this fabric before. It's like a copper sheet, very fine woven copper sheet. And I have used it before as kind of a cover on the bed, and I found for my own sake, and I can't give out for you, but for me, this stuff seems to bolster my immune system and straighten out the tangles in my etheric net and uh, prevent uh, cosmic rays from getting in. And also, it seems to me that it, um, it's healing. It, it helps to balance and stabilize the energy field in general and especially the nerves. It protects the internal organs, I find. Of course, that's just me. That's my intuitive sense of it. And I leave it up to you to use discernment and discretion in, in attempting anything like this. It's up to you to figure it out. So this, um, this beautiful copper sheet, I like the color. And I have to tell you, there's no financial incentive for me in this. But, um, but just I hope that you will all be safe and happy during the tumultuous nuospheric times of the upcoming solar maximum. So here, it's twice as big as this. So I thought it might be enough. Pretty big. And um, I'm going to try it here on top of the tent and see if it collapses or how it does. Well, here it is. It looks to me like I might need two such sheets. I'll show you. See? I think I need two sheets. Uh, if I had two sheets, which I don't have right now, and it would look a little like this. Okay, so I've put the copper, the beautiful copper fabric on top of the top part of the tent and uh, I think that would protect my head which is important to cognitive function and it would also protect my heart. You know the heart is at the effect of CMEs and so forth. It can flutter, it can it cause like a feeling of panic attacks in some people and so stabilizing the heart and the brain are very important during the CME, I feel. And uh, I'm going to go in the house and see if I can find one more piece of fabric that I think I may have to cover the bottom part of the tent. Be with you in one more minute. Well, so, I wasn't able to find any more copper fabric in the house, but I did find a couple of things that I've mentioned priorly that would do for now. One is a hoodie. I think it's Radius Smart. Yeah, a Radius Smart hoodie that I could wear to protect my head so I could put the copper fabric a little lower and so that it would cover most of my torso. It looks like this. I've showed it before. It's kind of cool. And uh, there's another Radius Smart item. It's, it's a very long, like, um, piece of fabric. It's intended for a shawl for women who are pregnant to prevent the baby from being injured from RF emissions. It goes like this, but I feel I could place it over my torso during the CME in order to prevent destabilization of the energy fields of my traditional chakras within my torso and also the energy fields beneath that, the subpersonal chakra energy fields. So, so these will do. I could use these inside the tent and then I could use a copper fabric draped over the tent for now. Later, I think if it works out, I'll buy another piece of copper fab fabric. Now let's go inside and see how it feels inside the tent. All right, taking a closer look. That fabric is beautiful, isn't it? I love that color and it zings around my EMF and makes it feel completely refreshed and great. This is the other side. And the advantage of this solitude tent over the domed play tents that you can also find on um, Amazon is that you don't have to wriggle out the 
end of a, it's like a tunnel. You don't have to wriggle out like that. Instead, you can just you can unzip this, and it's much easier to get out of. Well, here I am inside the tent. You can see that my face looks different, and that's because of the rejuvenating effect of the of the copper sheeting that I feel already. Uh, the tent is it's really high, so it doesn't give me any kind of suffocating feeling. Outside, uh, th this part here is completely free right now, but I've noticed that during the X flares, I would want to be completely covered by, by the copper if it works out. And so what I would do, I think, is just use an open umbrella and place the fabric all along my body and uh, over the open umbrella which would be above my head, and that might, uh, that might give me plenty of breathing space and also uh, keep the solar flare from affecting my energy field entirely. So, but right now, uh, I, this is fine. And uh, I have a couple of thoughts for you. Since I'm relaxing here in this, this green tent with the copper wire that's supposed to be rejuvenating, we'll see and protective. We'll see about that too. You know, energy workers are just so sensitive. They're so sensitive to energy that it's kind of hard for them to talk to normal people about energy. But I'm here talking to you because my feeling is that many more people will become EMF sensitive, which is to say light workers in this solar cycle. So it may take you at first by surprise, as it took me in the last solar cycle. And, and here is a solution for you. If you have no copper and, uh, and you're taken by surprise in the coming months, in the coming years, then the thing to do is just stay home. Sleep through it and then figure out what to do afterwards that will work for you, as I'm attempting to do for myself. Uh, the important thing is not to act out, no matter how strange the astral layers may get, no matter what astral stories may be circulating, no matter what end times notions may be overcoming other people, just stay out of their way and, and rest and sleep the whole time, get plenty of water. Do a little yoga, do a little meditation, and so forth. That's my idea. Do not act out, in particular. Don't do anything that will get you locked up in jail, because that's no place to be right now. The advantage of this tent is just that it's so high and, and allows plenty of movement. You know, the info age is so peculiar. Out here in the suburbs of Los Angeles, I always feel that all my neighbors have surveillance cameras like I do and they're all taking pictures of everyone going up and down the street, including me. And so I feel like a fish in a fishbowl out here. In fact, uh, you may be getting strange videos of me from your friends and neighbors, you children that, that like to play those games. I'd like you to know that uh, for a person who's sensitive, for a person who's a light worker or a healer, it's very important not to play those kinds of games with us because we know what's happening when you make fun of us and when you make parody videos of us and so forth. I know that it's all the rage these days. It's a way to let off stress because of COVID, but I feel it to be a very, a very rude thing to do and very hurtful to people who are sensitive. So. I ask you please, if you're doing that kind of thing on the social media or sending around to your friends pictures of people making fun of them, please don't do it anymore. And I ask it on behalf of all the light workers who are doing their best to keep Earth happy and peaceful and, and prosperous for everyone here. So God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days, and especially during any incoming CMEs and solar flares in the coming years. Bye-bye. Until next time.